Uh, we're talking with Rich and he's going to talk about the new Connects Mini and the uh, products that you make for it so that we could use it on our cameras, right? Thank you, M. Yes, Animon introduced the Connex last year. This for one right aerial here, right? work, it's this guy right here. For aerial work, 1,000 meter line of sight range. Uh, you know, just great performance. And of course, when, when I saw that, I thought, wouldn't this be good to use on an ordinary camera, any ordinary camera in normal cinematography yeah. situation environments? So what we did at that time was develop accessories for it for the uh, transmitter or air unit as they call it, a battery cage, antenna support because the connects comes with these strip antennas which are hung from the, the drone. drone or whatever, yeah. you know. So we provide the support and, and the battery for it and uh, one quarter 20 nut for, for mounting. mounting to a typical mounting situation. Okay. And we did the same thing for the receiver or ground unit as they call it, battery cage and so forth. Um, and the performance is really great. It's a yeah. very robust wireless HDMI system. The transmitter has a little fan, so you'd never want to use it on a sound stage, I think, but that's not needed. And of course, none of these systems transmit audio. But again, right. in the vast majority of situations, users don't need the audio. Well then, um, early this year, Connex came out with the, I mean, Amimon came <laughs> out with the Connex Mini. And that's what this, this guy is here. here. So it's his little brother. The specifications for the Mini are all the same as the specifications for the original Connex, with one exception. Well, for the one main exception. Mm. Half the range, 500 meters instead of a thousand meters. That's still probably more distance than I'd, I'd use. It's more distance than Most practically would anybody <laughs> would use, yeah. unless they're pretty good on a drone. Right, right. Also, the Connex Mini transmitter doesn't have a cooling fan. Oh, so that's even better. Yeah, so it's smaller, lighter, doesn't have the cooling fan and has really great performance. So again, what we added was um, a cage and a battery. And this little battery on the transmitter, we will power it over five hours. Wow, yeah. On the receiver, it's like four and a half hours. Of course, the receiver could also be AC powered. So these are great systems for um, practically any wireless video use. Yeah. And they're it, low cost. Right. They, I was going to say, you can get almost the same performance as some of those five, six thousand dollar wireless transmitters. I believe you get the same or, or better. better. <laughs> right. Yes. No audio, no SDI, no other bells and whistles. Yeah. But if all you need is a good HDMI up to you know, 1080, 60p, yeah. you got it. Nice. So how much is uh, the Mini going to go for now? Well, the uh, list price of the Mini transmitter receiver set is $12.99. Okay. As compared to the $15.99 for the original Connex. Okay. And what I tell customers is, well, if you really need the ultimate range, the best range possible... Go with the bigger unit. Spend a few hundred dollars more. Right. But I believe that the Mini for $300 less is going to meet their the needs and requirements of most users. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty so, good range, and it's like half the size, if not less, because of the battery weight. It's very nice, yeah. The mini transmitter battery package, this this part right here is less is about a half a pound. Okay. So it's very light. You know, the other thing is that nobody uses these long line of sight ranges. What you care about most most of the time is, well, how well does it go through walls? Yeah. What if the antennas are blocked by the operator or people walking in between and all that? And both of these perform very well. In fact, within the Mini's range, it performs very similar in that regard to the original Kinex. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we used this a couple of times. So we had a subject going up and downstairs through different rooms, and uh, we didn't drop a feed at all. And it was a 
pretty good distance. And that's pretty typical performance. Yeah. The other uh, thing that's important about these wireless video systems, not just range and walls and stuff like that, it's interference. Okay. And you know, how robust is the system? How much interference can it take? The biggest single increasing interference factor turns out to be upper band 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. You have a strong 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi system, a hotspot, with a bunch of users hitting their cell phones and tablets, and it can be disaster yeah. uh, for these systems. Even though these have DFS channels <clears throat> that supposedly, you know, that aren't being used by Wi-Fi, some Wi-Fi systems are kind of, um, well, they're spread out a little bit. They don't maybe maybe they don't meet the specs or whatever, but they're noise. They're five gigahertz noise sources, and that's really the biggest, uh, I think, cha coming growing challenge for uh, wireless. the five gigahertz wireless HD. Yeah, these seem to be performing really well. I mean, you got a couple of them set up over here. We're at NAB. There's a lot of interference here, but uh, your feeds look good on all your setups. Yeah, this is actually a very good test here. Because I can tell you, from our years of experience, you know, we had the Radian. It's a nominally a 300-foot LOS system, mm -hmm. comparable to the Paralynx Aero Teradek 300. Right. Well, the Radian and those other guys in this same environment. I mean, if you get 20 feet, that's good. Yeah. All right. You can walk away down 100 feet here with these systems. We've got three I'm going right now. They all link up quickly. There's, you know, no issues. Yeah. Now, their range is greatly reduced, no question about it, because of all of the five gigahertz noise in here. But they're working quite well. That's yeah. the big test. Right, cool. All right, guys, so that is the MMON Connects and the Connects Mini here at Camera Motion Research. If you guys want to get more information about this stuff, I'll have a link below this video and also on the blog, cheesycam.com. Thanks, Rich. Thank you.